I mean, start recording. Um, oh. You all know me. Just the camera's moving around this time, apparently. Uh, this is uh, Dee Dee and Dylan from the marketing team. We're in action. Um, so, yeah, there's the introduction. And <laughs> Takaru asked a question to, to get ready, so let's just start with that. Unless you guys have something to say. First, to kick it off. Just go straight into the questions. We're excited that you're here to talk with us about marketing on Interaction. All right. Hikaru was wondering, how hard was it to market such a revolutionary way to play games in your web browser, especially FPS games, which are virtually unheard of in browsers? It's still hard to market. <laughs> but uh, the good thing about it, it is, is that it is a product that is revolutionary. You know, it's not like we're marketing something that that there's already... 10 or 20 products out there just like it. Uh, the fact that it's something that's that's new in itself makes it easier to market. And if anything, the fact that, that we have something that's so unique is bringing a lot more users. So the users are actually doing a lot of the marketing for us. All right. I don't know if this is actually meant to be a, a question, but Skylark said, uh, where's the GG store for merchandise? Ah, for the marbles. Yeah, marble, <laughs> marble. Uh, you know, zap underpants. Zap underpants, that's right. Uh, it's coming. It's coming soon. Maybe not the underpants, but... No, we really want to do get merchandise out there, uh, but it's not, not a really high priority right now. Obviously, we're working more on the site than anything else. But yeah, we, we definitely want t-shirts for every game and all that good stuff. And if you have ideas of what you'd like to buy, you can always email us and let us know as well. Or post in the forums. Post in the forums, definitely. We can open up a thread. One of the questions from before was how do you reconcile the fact that, you, in a sense, you've got two different constituencies. You've got people who like what are traditionally called casual games, and you've got the bulk of the people that like the core games and action games and so on. So one of the one of the questions we had a number of times was, how are you addressing those two different groups? And is there a, is there you know they want different things and so forth? Well, we we really want to treat Instant Action as as a site where any game can go on there. So just because you're on Instant Action doesn't mean you have to be a hardcore gamer. Doesn't mean you have to be a casual gamer. You know, you, there'll be a game there for you. Uh, you know, there'll be genre of certain games. You have Legions coming out, obviously that's going to be more for hardcore gamers, uh, but you have uh, games like Marble Blast, Think Tanks, a little bit easier to play. So so we're not looking to get any specific group. Uh, obviously the more core gamers are going to be the ones that adopt it sooner, but um, yeah, anybody can come on. And uh, as we listen to more people and the feedback, we can figure out what games you know we want to have more of, and, and we have a lot more coming down the pipeline. Um, you will not be bored <laughs> by the amount of games that are coming online. Take a wild guess, not non-binding wild guess, a year from now, how many games do you anticipate will be on that system? Jeez. Uh, Considering how many we've got now, how many are in the pipeline? Total? Okay, at least at least 20 upwards to, to 50, I would hope. Uh, yeah, a year. You know, if we could get it on a schedule, getting like a game every week or two in, that'd be great. Uh, and someone keep, everyone, think the misapprehension I keep hearing constantly, not from everyone, but just like in every kind of news cycle, is it, these are flash games. They're not flash games. <laughs> So, you know, we'll talk about that in our podcast in right. more detail, but why aren't they Flash? What are they if they're not Flash games? Well, it's not a Flash plug-in in the first place. Uh, it's a 3D plug-in, so really you can port almost any game, anything we've tried using any engine. It's pretty technology agnostic, so uh, I think on the game side they actually ported Quake. Didn't they port Quake 3? Do you remember hearing about that? They ported Quake 3 over or something like that in a couple hours. All the basic features, but they got it up and running. Uh, in As a test to see what the system would be able to do. Yeah, yeah. So That's really, cool. there's not too many limits of what is possible. All right. Um, Tectonic asks, did you consider any alternatives to Ustream for connecting with your market like this? Oh. That might be one that you heard. Any what? Uh, did you consider any alternatives to Ustream for connecting with your market like this? We have many, many. We've got our YouTube channel. 
Uh, we've got our Facebook page and our Facebook product page. We've got our Twitter account. Uh, kind of the biggest one is probably at this point is our blog, which James edits. Um, it's got really good traffic, and it's got it's got become richer and richer. It's got all kinds of things on it. It's got the latest news. It's got profiles and tips and stuff. It, I'm really I think I'm very happy with the, with the blog. But um, as we go on, we're going to continue to find new ways to talk to people and to be talked to by them. Some things work, some things don't, and we'll try things that will later axe because they're just not right for you guys. Um, so yeah, we've already considered and implemented a number of them, and we'll continue to do so. And again, if anyone has any Suggestions, get on one of those properties, leave a comment, or leave a comment on the forums. With several people, Ian, Kurt, Dylan, James, already in your feedback, the forums, the blogs, figuring out what to do with MySpace and Facebook, and you know, a lot of anything we hear about, we're starting to get involved in now. We're looking at, uh, what was it, uh, Stumble Upon today, Twitter, I mean, we want to we want to get you know make it as accessible as possible for you guys to communicate with us. So if you have any ideas, let us know. We're not somewhere. Let us know. Okay. Um, Badass asks, uh, have you thought of hosting a, a VoIP server to talk to the user base for fast feedback or game? Server IP is a feature we are thinking about and planning for. I don't have any concrete dates for you. Are you talking about in-game or to talk to, uh, to, to get right feedback now. from people or in-game yeah. maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Instant action, I know, it's a feature that we're Def planning. Definitely in-game, we'd like to get that up. And it's, it's on the long feature list, so. <laughs> okay. Um, is the Instant Action team a different part of Garage Games or did the G GG folks just double shift? <laughs> <laughs> We're double shifting for a while. Um, some people cross over, but it's mostly two separate teams right now. Um, even the game side, the guys making games like Legions and, and Rocket Ball are, are pretty much separate from the Instant Action side. Um, I mean, we're all really close to each other in terms of distance and in terms of being friends with each other. But yeah, we, we mostly just help each other out in the background where we need it. Um, Enderm asks, what are your advertising efforts looking like? Well, we have several different avenues of online advertising. We are we have paid placements with advertisers as well as doing some search engine optimization and search engine uh, marketing. Uh, and then really going back to the community, we have a lot of community efforts, so, you know, getting the word out virally via all of our <coughs> social media positions on, you know, YouTube and Twitter and, and some of the other places that we mentioned before. Um, contests, we have the Legion's contest right. on site, we have one on Shack News, so. And you'll, you'll, exactly, and you'll notice, you know, we have been popping up in a lot of the game spots and, and blogs and popular places like that. Partially, some of those are just due to our own efforts of getting the word out. Some of them are because of press releases and things that we've released publicly. Um, but you know, I really think one of our biggest things is, is the way that it, the word's traveling virally and traveling by our, our users, by you guys. For the win, 206 asks, is IA going to be an indie developer delivery platform a la SNA Creators Club? Uh, yeah, we're really looking to bring any game that's good into Instant Action. It doesn't matter if it's a if it's an indie title or a AAA title. We really want to bring good games to the site. Um, obviously, there's other issues beyond that: contract issues, money issues. You know how much we have to spend to get the game there. But we really do want to bring everything we can. Um, can you talk at all about the Legion's feedback system? I understand there's to be a voting system for features and things. I see this as somewhat of a marketing method. Is it? That actually is going to be more a, I guess, a focus on getting consumer-generated content and really trying to feature and focus on what you guys want and what the users are looking to, to get. So um, as far as the system technically is going to work, I think it's still in the works as, as far as you know how, how the voting is going to be placed in the game and things like that. but. Um, the focus and the intent there is to really make sure that we are putting into the game what the players want. Keep that live development process going, keep the game always fresh, always new content. Yeah, the Legion's guys are working hard on that and they, they're, really, they're really stoked about the idea.